Hi, my name is Paul Offit. I'm talking to you today from the Vaccine Education Center at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. It's Wednesday, August 27th, 2025. So what I wanted to talk about is something that I think has unfortunately become confusing, and that's whether or not a young child should receive a, a primary series of COVID-19 vaccines. Now, in April, of 2025, so months ago, there was a presentation to the CDC by a 13-year veteran at the CDC named Fiona Havers. And what she did was she looked at what has been the impact of COVID-19 over the past year in children, children meaning people defined as less than 18 years of age. And what she found was that overall, there were between 250,000 and 450,000 hospitalizations from COVID, most in people over 75 or who had high-risk medical conditions. But 4% of hospitalizations, so probably around 10,000 children were hospitalized. They represented 4% of all hospitalizations. What was interesting is most of those children were less than four years of age. Um, virtually all were unvaccinated. If you looked at children between zero and two years of age, 60% had were otherwise healthy. If you looked at children between two and four years of age, 40% were otherwise healthy. So, which is to say about half of children less than four years of age were otherwise healthy, but nonetheless admitted to the hospital with COVID. About one in five or 20% were admitted to the intensive care unit and 152 children died. Now, is that a disease worth preventing? Yes. That's why it didn't make sense when at the end of May, the Secretary of Health and Human Services, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., stood up and in a one minute video that he posted on X said that he, meaning Health and Human Services, meaning the CDC, was no longer recommending this COVID vaccine for healthy children. That was now confusing for the clinician because the clinician saw on the one hand, that there was tremendous impact on COVID-19 in children. I mean, certainly enough worth preventing. And two, you had the CDC that seemed to be backing away and basically just saying shared clinical decision-making, not a recommendation. Now, what happened was in August this month, the American Academy of Pediatrics stood up and published an article in its journal, Pediatrics, making it very clear, we recommend all children less than two years of age who've never been naturally infected and never been vaccinated receive a primary series of COVID-19 vaccine. Now that might be difficult this year because Pfizer uh, no longer has an emergency use authorization for, um, the, for children. And they were the only vaccine that was um, at least approved through emergency use authorization for all children less than five, healthy or otherwise. So what we have now is the Moderna vaccine and the Moderna vaccine is licensed, but in theory only for those children who are in high-risk groups. I think the simple solution of this is that since the vaccine is still recommended as shared clinical decision-making, and since we do have a vaccine for children less than five, and since the American Academy of Pediatrics has strongly and clearly recommended this, and since it is highly likely that insurance is going to cover this, that all children less than five years of age who have never been vaccinated or never uh, been naturally infected should receive a primary series of vaccines because that puts them in the safest position possible. I hope that helps. Thank you.